Healthy Bowl, I'm Zoltra, and today we're going to be making an origami crab. This crab was my own design, and yeah, it took a while. Actually, I made it yesterday. It was supposed to be a beetle, and then I figured out and said, oh, this looks more like a crab than a beetle. So, here we go. Origami crab. Hope you guys enjoy, and let's start. So, basically, what we're going to do is take this corner and bring it down to this corner. Congratulations. Now we have to unfold. We're going to take this corner and bring it up to this corner. Just upwards. This. Downwards. Good job. Now we have to unfold. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over 180 degrees and take this edge and bring it over to this edge. Congratulations. Now we crease. Now you want to unfold and take this edge and bring it over to this edge. There you go. <coughs> Sorry, I am sick. If you guys didn't know that. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this 45 degrees. And we're going to take every corner and bring it into this bottom corner. One, two, and three. Now we just have to crease along there. Good job. So now we have this tiny square with four spikes down at the bottom. What we're going to do is we're going to take this flap, well any flap really, and bring it up to the top flap. Just normally kind of like this. And make a crease along the center here. Good job. Now we have to unfold. Well actually never mind, sorry, keep it up. Sorry. And now what we're going to do is take any adjacent flap. So I'm going to take this flap here, flip this over and do the exact same thing. Bringing a singular flap up to the top. Good job. Now we have a skinny flap, a kind of medium flap and a big flap. Flap is such a weird word. Anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this edge of the skinny flap and bring it into the center crease here, like so. And we're going to take this medium flap edge and bring it into the center crease as well. Now we're going to unfold both of them and flip that over and do the same thing, bringing the skinny flap into the center and bring the medium flap into the center as well. Good job. If you're wondering about that back flap, that's stood just at the left. So if you had yours like this, don't get too worried, that's pretty normal. Okay, so now we unfold both these. So now what we're gonna do is we must open this up like so and rotate 180 degrees. Cool beans. Now you can see here we have this cool pattern with creases going along each side. What we're gonna do is focus on this upper part diamond area here with these two top creases. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this tip and fold them along these two creases. So make an imaginary line between here and there, which is the top of these two creases. And that's where we're gonna fold it from. Make sure it's as precise as possible. You know it's precise when you have the crease from the top here lining up with this rest part here. Okay, good. So now we're going to unfold that 
and open these two flaps. Make sure that when you open them, it's along these creases and they don't go out like that. That they're only in here. I'll show you Bring this flap up as well. Just along here. Put your nail and maybe scratch it a bit. That kind of makes it better. I'm not so sure. Okay, so now that you've opened those two flaps, you pretty much have to squish this down onto that crease. And these ones have to fold out until they reach this middle crease here. Middle as in from there, there, that's the middle. And make sure they fold along there. And there you go. From now on, we're gonna call this the emblem, just to make it easy to say, because I don't know what that shape is. I'm gonna say it's an emblem. And it's not a quadrilateral, it's a polygon. Anyway, so now what we have to do is we're gonna take this bottom half and just flip it underneath and we'll take this 180 degrees. Congratulations. Now, what we're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that this bottom part here is really tough because we're gonna need that to be tough. And what you're gonna do now is take these two edges of this entire thing and fold them along here, kinda like so. The creases are already there, so it should be quite easy. Okay, there you go. Now we have to fold these upwards. Now it's time for the hard-ish part, kinda. This is one of the hardest folds in the current design that we're doing, so once you get past this, it should be a breeze until you get to the near the endish part. Anyway, so now we're gonna pretty much open one of these flaps. And as you see, there's tons of creases here. We have to focus on this crease, that crease, and this crease here. We're gonna make sure they're all value folds, as in they're pointing away from us. For example, this one is pointing away from us. This one's pointing towards us. You wanna push this in, until it's going away from us. This is the reason why you need strong creases so that you can actually see them. This one here is also going to go away from us. Once you've got them all facing away from you, this one here actually is pretty hard. Sometimes I flip it over and make sure that it just goes all across until the center. Make sure it's not messy by the way. Messiness is really bad. This is my second redo of this video because of messiness. Okay, so now that you have all these going inwards, you wanna take a few fingers, one on top here, one on each side here, and squish these. And that should very neatly fit into there. As you see, we have the emblem here, going across here, and that's looking good. Now I have to do the same to the other side. As you see, our shape is kind of weird. That's because we've just folded this together and now it's very close up. What we're gonna do is do the same thing. It should be a bit easier now that it's kind of open, but who knows. So we're gonna focus on that one, that one, and that one. Make sure you push these all down, making sure that they're all folding inwards. This one here, nearest to the center, is gonna be the hardest one, I guess, because it's hard to fold so that you can actually see the crease. So like again, I'm just gonna go outside, make it fold in more. Remember, three fingers, one on each side, and squish. And we're gonna make sure the emblem stays normal. And there you go. You have this so far. Now we're not completely done. We have like, we're only like halfway there. So let's continue. Now what I'm gonna do is flip this like that. And you see we have our big flap, which is still here. It's gonna stay here. Just joking. We're gonna make it smaller. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this upper crease here <coughs> and fold it into the center like so. Good job. Now I have to unfold and do it on the other side, making sure that this flap here can go on both sides. Now what we're gonna do is the exact same but opposite. We're going to take this part, bring that into the center. Unfold and bring that into the center again. Now we have two things going into the center, like so. What we're gonna do is rotate this 180 degrees 
and open this up. What we're going to do is along this crease here, that's where we're going to fold it at. So just squish this. It should be pretty simple since we have the crease already that we've made earlier. Now as you see, we have a few different things. We have these things going up and this kind of weird triangular piece here. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to push this up on this triangle piece and bring these into the center. You're going to have to squish this together, making sure that it lines up in the center. And there you go. Make sure it's neat by the way, because there are a lot of places in this design where it may not be neat. Sorry, let me clear my throat. We're back. So now, as you see, we have this flap here, and around here, we have that. What we're going to do is fold this flap down for now, and take the other side and bring it across. See, it could go either way, and that's good. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to take this edge here and bring this into the center crease. As you see, there should be a part lying up here, it's okay, it's not a problem. Don't fold that down as well. Okay, good. Now that you have that, we're going to fold this down the center. We're going to rotate this 180 degrees. And we're going to do the same thing, taking this edge down to this edge. But this time, we're going to use this back side as a reference, making sure that they're both symmetrical. There you go. Now you can put these two folds up and unfold this. Ooh, that sounds a bit messy. It's okay. It's not as messy as last time. Okay, so now we have this shape here. It's a pretty interesting shape. We have the emblem at the back. This looks like a soldier's head. I was gonna make a video on that, but then I realized this should be crab because crabs are better than soldier heads. Anyway, so now we're going to work on the hardest part which is the claws. For now, we could see here. This is going to be the tail. These are going to be the legs. The emblem is going to be the legs. And these two massive pieces up front are going to be the claws. As you see, even though they're massive flaps, we're going to condense them into tiny flaps that look nice. So here's what we're going to do. So this is 180 degrees over. And we're going to start we're gonna start the claws, which is gonna the hardest part, the entire part. Makes sense. Okay, we're gonna take this center crease, sorry, edge here, and fold this along to there. Good job. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Nice. Now we're going to unfold. We're going to bring this down like so, in, along here, which is already there. We just need to fold this down, and that's good. Okay, so now that you've done that, we're going to take this edge here and bring this over to this crease here, like so. The model should look like this this crease over to that crease. And there you go. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this up close because here's what we're gonna have to do next. We're gonna unfold this claw and you see we have many creases. This part here is a mountain fold, then a valley fold. We're gonna continue that. So you see, mountain fold, valley fold. So it's going up, then down. This part here is gonna, this crease here is gonna go down. Let me focus on that. This is gonna go down. Which is gonna be good. So that goes down, sorry, up, down, up, down. And fold that together. And you should get a shape like that. Let me do that again. Okay. So, I'm going to unfold this entire crease. Sorry, crab 
cool. And you see it goes up, then down, then up. This next one here that's going up, we're gonna bring this down. Bringing that one up as well. Cool. So now you go up, down, up, down. And then you squash all together down. And you should get this. Okay, good job. We've thinned the claws. Now we just have to bring these both down like so. Now if you look very, very, very carefully, we have two creases there and there. Sorry for my dirty nails. What we're going to do is we're going to fold along those creases and continue them. So it goes there. We're going to carefully fold up there. This is not going to go evenly since, as you can see here, this does not actually touch the edge. To do it as nice as possible, this part here is going to stay undone. So it's fine. Don't try to fold it or else you might rip the paper. We just need to make sure that these are very strong, that they're visible. Do the same thing here. Take this and bring it up from that crease. Squeezing that. Okay, so now that you've done that, we're going to take this crease that we just made and bring that crease up to the top here. So, for example, this crease here. Sorry, let me get this close. We're going to take that and bring this up to here. So... That's the crease. We're gonna fold that up onto this line here. Okay, crease and then fold up to there. It's fine if this doesn't match up perfectly. That should be completely fine. Now I'm gonna do, do the same thing here. So this crease here that we just made has to go up to there. Like so. And there you go. Those things should be going forward relatively nice. And we have not completely done yet. We have to work on details. So what we're going to do here for the legs, we're going to take this edge here and bring this down. Sorry, let me refocus. Okay. So this is going to go on just across here. So it's just going to go like that. Pretty simple from there. We're going to take these two flaps here and fold them up just accordingly. Nice. You could fold this thing back down now. So now we have those tiny legs. Now for the head. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm going to do. So basically I'm just going to squish this so then it curls. We're not going to make it any proper folds. We're just going to curl this up so that it's a nice curled shape as we could see. And there you go. It stands up from bird's eye view. We have made the origami crab. It's very flat and it's good for sneaking under people's doors. As you see, I have... A, I'm gonna start a crab army. That's what I'm gonna do when I grow up. Anyway, it's not completely done yet. <coughs> now, we have to do one of the most important parts, which is... Art time! Yeah, the crab is happy as well, even though it has no life. Okay. And there we go, we have finished our crab. As you can see, I have started my crab army, and soon I will take over the world. So, if you like this video, you might be saved. Okay, so that's why you should like the video and subscribe, because it's good. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you later.